This is Daily Gold, let us begin. Okay, so today we did the Forge of Souls to finish off our redundant list for Wrath of the Lich King for the Worth It beta. And that being said, when it comes to data collection, this one actually was a bit of a weird one in order to actually do. Now, farming this one up is pretty dead straightforward. The only little thing that needs to actually be done at the end of the dungeon is when you take out the last boss, do not go through the portcullis at the end because that will take you to the Pit of Sauron and that will give you two instance lockouts. What you're really meant to do is just use your Dreamwalk ability to go in and out of the instance and then fly back in. The only other way from that is either using a Monk's Meditate ability or by just running back to the instance entrance which will take time off of you. That being said, when it comes towards Forge of Souls, let's get into the results. Now jumping in towards everything and going in towards Worth It, we can have a look at my farms and we can go down to see where this actually is. So Forge of Souls comes up for us. It came up to around about 69,961 gold. I know for a fact that Jin got a decent amount from this as well, which I will be compiling together. However, for me, it wasn't all that great of items besides the bloody crossbow, which comes in at my server of around about 24,000 gold or a region market average of 55,000 gold. There's no sell rate data on this one as of yet, but we'll f figure that out as it goes along. But if you were just looking at this, the sell rate on these are quite low. So probably not the best gold farm in order to actually do. That being said, we're gathering the data so we can find what is the best gold farms for Transmog and as such, Forge of Souls is that. So, I've actually got Jin's results here and he managed to get 159,000 for his farming session and one of the keynote items was the stocky shotgun of Fire Flash, 126,000. So, it could be that a load of fake value is going on here at this moment in time as he uh, most likely stated and I'm probably going to agree with him about fake value with the Forge of Souls. So all in all is Forge of Souls probably good? Probably not. If we go in towards the everything, in towards our TSM, we can have a look at the Forge of Souls and we can grab that select group and overall posting this all back on the auction house, 28,000 gold. So you can see where it's adjusting right there. Not anything major to be precise. It's, yeah. I'm going to call this one a bust for today when it comes towards dungeon farming. However, everything else, if we go in towards our mailbox, we have 805 gold. No items of note, only like blood scale we sold. So let's pull that in. 248,021 gold. And if we go in towards our, our lovely little spreadsheets, that is not the one. This one is the one in order to actually do, and Wrath of the Lich King is complete. Any more data sets would be handy on this one, as um, yeah, the more runs we actually can get into this, the better average that gold farm will actually receive, and a more accurate result. Now, for everything else, we're going to be starting with Cataclysm as of today, and we're going to keep going on through that. So, looking forward to actually getting started with all of this. I don't know where I'm going to start, honestly, but I'll probably pick one at random and just head there straight away. I don't hold much hope for Grim Batol, but we'll see how everything pans out. That being said, with everything, if we go back into the Discord, you can get this data sheet on here on the Discord under Worth It Data Sheet, and that's for anyone to use. Uh, failing that, I compile all of the data from the previous week in towards the Worth It beta at this moment in time for pub for private testing, and as such, until all of this is done, it will be behind the Patreon for the beta, and then it will be released once it's all compiled and ready. The main goal is to get the entire add-on ready for The War Within before that actually releases, and we've got quite a fair amount in order to actually farm up. So, just FYI in that jazz. So, that being said, if I close all of that down, how was Forge of Souls? Probably not good. However, at the end of the day, we'll, we'll, 
we're bound to come across some dungeons that just do not perform. So that being said, have an awesome rest of your day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.